going on, everybody? Smo smoky farts. Smoky farts. Smoky stogie farts here. Smoking my uh, Dagner. Uh, I believe this is the first series Dagner poker. And, uh, you know, I've been on this planet for 40 years now. And it never ceases to amaze me when I still learn something that blows my mind. The other day I was online and I saw an interesting fact, astrological fact, that to me, if you would have told me this were true, uh, I would have bet you a million dollars that it wasn't true. But apparently it is true. I learned, okay, let me, let me frame it this way. Think back to when you were a kid and in school and they showed you a picture of the uh, solar system, right? So you have like, you know, the sun, and then next to the sun was, you know, Mercury, this like little dot. And then there was like Venus. And then there was Earth, you know, and then Mars, and then Jupiter. And, and, and so you'd see like, you know, this little dot, and then you'd see a little bigger dot. And then you see this big old Jupiter, which, you know, completely swallows like, you know, the first four planets. And then you have Saturn, which is, you know, this other huge monster, you know, and, and so on. If you were to tell me that, okay, so then you look up in the sky at nighttime and you see the moon, right? There's the moon right there. If you were to tell me that you could take Jupiter, the, the entire planet of Jupiter, and squeeze it in between the Earth and the Moon, and it would fit. If you told me that, I would have told you you were full of crap. Right? Think back to that map. Think back to how big Jupiter is, how small we are, and the distance between Earth and the Moon. If you told me you could fit Jupiter in between that space, without it touching Earth or the Moon, I'd say you're crazy. But that is true. You can fit Jupiter in between the Earth and the Moon's orbit around the Earth. And that completely blew my mind because it doesn't look like the Moon is that far away. Now, one step further. If you told me that you can not only take Jupiter and stick it in between the Earth and the Moon, but you could take Saturn next to Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn together, and squeeze that in between the Earth and the Moon, I'd say you're smoking something that isn't tobacco. But that is true as well. You could take, if Jupiter and Saturn we're right outside our horizon, it would still fit in between the Earth and our moon. Isn't that crazy? Like, that blows my mind. But, that's not all. You can take every single planet in our entire solar system. You can take Mercury and Venus and Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and Neptune and Uranus <laughs> and to some extent Pluto which isn't really no longer considered a planet but I guess it's a dwarf planet you can take the entire planetary bodies in our solar system and they will still fit in between the earth and the moon isn't that unreal how many of you, show of hands, are like me, that have lived your entire life and have never heard of that before? If you would have told me that, I would have said you were crazy. But apparently it's true. If you measure the distance, and I don't have the math with me right now, but if you measure the distance between the Earth and the Moon, which is like 380,000 miles or something, but then you measure the width of each planet, it can fit in between the Earth and the Moon. 
Now, you can get technical and say, well, because it's not a, the, earth, the, the moon isn't on a perfect axis, it's not a perfect circle, it's an ellipse, so it's longer in some times of the year and shorter. And then technically speaking, when, it's on, when, it's when the moon is closest to the earth, you can't fit them all in between us. But when the moon is furthest from the earth, you can. And to me, that still blows my mind. If that's news to you, uh, leave a comment below so I know I'm not alone. But I was blown away by it. I told my wife, I go, babe, check this out. Can you believe you can fit every single planet in our solar system between us and the moon? And the moon still would be further out? And she's like, I don't care. That doesn't do anything for me. And I'm like, really? That doesn't blow your mind? So apparently it's just me that got all excited about this. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So that's it. Yay for science. Talk to you later.